Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and we're talking about iOS 16 hidden features. Of course, iOS 16 is packed with new features. There are more than 400 different new features and changes that you will be able to find on iOS 16, but a lot of them are actually hidden and most users probably don't know about them. So in this video, I will show you guys more than 20 new hidden features that you will be able to find on your iPhone running iOS 16. All right, before we get started, just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. I've noticed that most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you like the videos and you want to see more of them, please make sure you subscribe. It really helps out a lot. And now let's get started with the first hidden feature. Feature. If you go to settings and you go under general, here we'll have game controller. Now this will show up the minute you connect a controller to your iPhone. Otherwise you won't get this section right here. Now once you have a controller connected, then this will be here all the time, even if you disconnect the controller. Now if you go here, what you will have is your controllers and you can actually configure them from here. So here I have my controller. If I go there, I can go ahead and change the controls for this controller. So you can see right here we have everything and I can go ahead and choose what I want to do with each button of the controller. I can customize the lightning bar right here and also change the haptic feedback from strong to weak or turn it off completely. You can also create different profiles for the same controller. So if we go back here, we have the profile Files. So what I can do here is create different profiles, maybe for different games, and then just enable any one I need. As of now, probably everyone knows about the feature on the Photos app on, our, on the iPhone where you can just select the subject, tap and hold on the subject, and it will remove the background from that subject. Well, you can do the same on Safari searches as well. So if you just search for something on Safari, what you can do is tap and hold the picture, and right here it says copy subject. Once you have done that, you have that copy to your clipboard and you can simply go ahead and paste it anywhere you need to. Maybe on a note or on a message or an email, anywhere you need to just copy and paste. The iMessage app on iOS 16 has gotten some really useful features. Now, when you open your messages app, this is what you will see. Now, what you can do is go to your settings and go to messages and right here you have an option to enable filter unknown senders. Well, this was an option before even on iOS 15, but now on iOS 16, if you enable this, you will get another folder here. If you just go now back to filters, you will get a folder for your unread messages. So you don't need to look around for messages that you haven't read yet on iMessage. You just go to this folder and all of your unread messages will be right there. This next feature is very useful. Whenever you select a word on iOS, what you can do is just swipe here on the menu and it shows find selection. So if you tap there, it will find that word on the text. The same goes for find on page on Safari. This is basically the same feature, but now you can use it elsewhere, like maybe on notes or somewhere else. Now right here we'll have the arrows in which you can move between the words that it has found. And if you tap here, you can go ahead and find and replace, match case, or whole words. On the settings app, whenever you connect your AirPods, you will get this new section here, which appears only when the AirPods are connected to the iPhone. You probably know about this, but it has a really cool new feature that allows to see the version of the firmware that's installed on your AirPods, which basically lets you know whether you have the latest or not. So if you go here, you will see the version of the AirPods and the case. And this way, of course, you can know which version you have. Unfortunately, we still don't have here a button and option to actually update manually the AirPods. Hopefully that is coming. But what's also new here is that we have now a link which you can click and see all the details, all the updates of the current firmware. As you probably know on iOS, now you can copy edits from one photo to another. But what's really cool is that you can copy edits from a photo and actually paste it on a video. So here I have a video and I can paste the edits right here. This is really awesome. You can actually do this even vice versa or from a video to a video or of course from a photo to a photo. The contacts app on iOS 16 also has gotten some really cool new features. And one of them is contacts list. If you go to a contact card, then right here at the bottom, you can see all the lists where that contact is included. You can also add it to another list simply by tapping there. It shows you all the lists you have created. You can just go ahead, tap any one of them 
and add it there. Or if you want to remove a certain contact from the list, simply swipe like this and now you have removed that contact from the list. On the Photos app, you will get an option to merge photos that are similar. Well, you get the same on the Contacts app as well. When you go to your Contacts, you will see right here, if you have any duplicates, this pop-up will show. You tap right here and it shows you all the duplicates that you have. And what you can do here is merge all of them into one or just go ahead and ignore this if you just want to keep both of the contacts. But if you have the same contact, the same name, but different information, this will merge all the information into one contact. When you go to your lock screen and you're playing music on iOS 16, you know that we have a new music player, new controls on the lock screen. From here, you can switch, of course, between different songs like this. But what you can do is also tap and hold here and it will skip 10 seconds forward. Or if you want to go backwards, do the same, but on the other button, tap and hold and it will go back 10 seconds. Moving on to focus. Now under focus, if you go to one of your focuses, you will have here apps and people. Now previously you had to enable the apps from which you want to receive notifications when on that focus mode, apps and people. But now you will have a very useful option. You add the apps, but you get to choose whether you want to silence notifications from those apps or people or allow them. This is a really amazing change because there are of course a ton of apps on your iPhone probably, so you cannot add all of them here to silence notifications, but you can just go ahead and add the apps that you want to allow and then just choose this and you're good to go. Another great feature that Apple has added to focuses on iOS 16 is the ability to add filters. So if you go to one of your focuses, now you can add filters from here. Basically, they will customize the way your device and your apps behave under that under that focus mode. So if you go to add a filter, it will have a few here. Hopefully in the future we will have more. So we have system filters. You can choose which appearance you wanna have during that focus mode. So you can choose light or dark and just tap add right there to add it. You can add also filters for apps. Let's say mail, for example, you can choose which account you wanna use on that focus mode and you just add it right there and you're good to go. One really cool thing that you can do with a new feature on the Photos app that will let you detach the subject is that you can use that subject as a sticker for your iMessage app. So you tap and hold there and you can drag this and simply go ahead and drop it on a message. Now you can do the same simply by copying the subject or just drag it and you can send it as a sticker. The Wallet app also has now a great feature that will let you track the orders that you have purchased through Apple Pay. So you tap right there and all the orders will show right here. You will have also a search bar to search for them. So you no longer need a third party app to track your Apple Pay orders. You can now track them directly from the app. Moving on to the settings app, go to general and go to software update right here will have automatic updates. Now what you have here is an option which will let your device update only the security responses and file system, not iOS. So if you just don't wanna update your iOS version, but you wanna have the latest security fixes, you enable this button right here and you're good to go. Everything will be done automatically. And of course you don't need to update your iOS version. If you go to the Photos app and you go to an album where you have a photo which you have added to a quick note, you will see it right here. This is like a picture in picture mode where that photo basically shows you the photos that you have on the quick notes. If you tap there, it will of course open it on the, on the notes app. And from here, you can also go ahead and go back to the Photos app. So you will have this, which of course you can move anywhere around and also hide it on the side. When on Safari and you go to a picture, what you can do is actually tap and hold that picture. And of course you can copy the subject just like I showed you guys, but it, if it has text on the photo, you can also tap on show text. This will show you a totally new UI. And from here, of course, you can copy all the text on the photo and you can also mark it up from here. Now here's another great iOS 16 feature. If you have a photo, it doesn't matter where it is on the Photos app or on Safari, and that photo includes a date, then you can go ahead and create an event for that date and time right from the photo. So let's say someone sends you maybe an inv inv invitation or something like that. You can just tap here and it will automatically let you create 
a new event on your calendar. Apple also has added captioning on iOS 16. It will show you captions of everything that is being played on your iPhone. Now this will be very, very useful for a lot of people and in a lot of cases. If you just cannot hear your iPhone, you can see the captions on the screen. That is on beta right now, but you can use it and try it out. So you go to settings, go to accessibility, and here you will have like live captions and you can see it says beta, but you can enable it here and then you will have this player that will show up. You can of course minimize it here. You tap here to maximize it. And of course you can even go full screen like this and it allows you to just play everything from your iPhone, which is really, really good. Moving on to the Files app. On the Files app, you can now show extensions. What that means is that it shows you right here the format of the file, like it says right here, PDF. And you can show that by tapping the three dots right there tap on view options and you can see right here show all extensions it will show you all the formats of the files that you have on the files app files app also now has quick actions now these won't show up on all the files and when they show up they will be different of course for different types of files so if i just 3d touch right here on this pdf file you can see it says quick actions if i just tap right there we have two different actions we can take from here we can mark up this pdf or optimize the file size for this PDF. And last but not least, this is actually pretty obvious, but a lot of people most of the time might just stay on this folder right here where they have all the notes. But if you go back all the way back to your folders, now you will have a new folder for a quick note. So all the quick notes that you have taken on your iPhone will now have their separate folder right here. So of course you can quickly find them. So that is it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this. Don't forget to leave a like as it helps out a lot and I'll see you on the next one.